in f some phase of playoff competition. They're going to take on a very good Woodfield Redskins team coming into tonight's game with 11-0 record and a lot of postseason accolades put on these young gentlemen. I'm standing here with Dino Robinson, and uh, Dino was involved the last time that we played uh, the Newark Catholic Golden or Green Wave. Um, 1983, Dino. We're about a, an hour from game time. Tell us a little about the emotions that run through these young gentlemen's minds uh, as they're preparing and thinking about the game that they're about to play. Um, they grow up and they get themselves ready to play a fantastic football game and this is what you want to play for the state playoff and the state championship when we played in 83 we just didn't understand the type of uh uh well, i can't ex say exactly the type of play that that need the next level that you need to get to we played hard and we played well we just didn't make those key third down plays or stop them on third down plays but these kids have risen above that level. We are a much better football team than we were in 83, and I don't believe North Catholic is as good as they were in 83. We definitely, and most important of all, the coaches and the players themselves believe that we can beat Newark Catholic. It's just a matter of going out and proving it. I think they're ready to step up to the challenge. I really believe that. Yeah, and, and each time, each level of competition, you know, from the first game of the season to the last game, you know, when you're going with a, a perfect 11-0 season, 10-0 season, each level there is a step up, isn't there? And, and you have to prepare yourself. I believe this team, as you said, is ready for that next step, and they've always risen to that challenge. Let's talk a little bit about the 83 team. You know, some of the viewers may not be familiar with some of those boys. Um, the quarterback of that, of that team, who was that? Uh, Eric Graham, next door neighbor. <laughs> okay, how about the backfield? Give us a rundown of who was in the backfield, including yourself. Don't be modest. Um, the fullback was Marlon Headley, who was a junior. Uh, the tailback was Dave Prickett, who's a fantastic runner. Um, and the wingback was myself and Dickie Sims, and we shuffled plays in and out. Okay, and I remember uh, one of my next-door neighbors was a tight end on that team, uh, Marvin Potts, along with Greg Respect, who played. Greg also did the kicking and the punting chores. How about the line? Can you remember most of the linemen? Oh, most definitely. I can't forget those guys. Uh, Dave Hamilton was our center, and he happened to hurt his knee real bad in a Bellsville game, and Andy Shoemaker ended up being a center for one game against Newark Catholic when we went to the playoffs. But Dave was a junior, did a fantastic job. My two guards were Scott Christman and Andrew Ring. Our two tackles were Brian Knuckle and Joe Leinhauser. And the two ends, like you said, was uh, Marvin Potts and Greg Respect. Okay, so a little bit of memorabilia. But now this team, you know, this team has, as I said before, risen to the occasion and they've done a, a great job. Um, in 1983, uh, did intimidation have an effect in that ball game? And what do you think? How will that affect this ball game? Intimidation, no, I do not believe that any bit. Newark Catholic is not the hardest hitting team we played or my senior year in 83. Probably St. John's or Fort Fry. But the, the key thing is when you get into playoffs like this, it's from what happens from the shoulders up, you gotta use your head. And the key word that even their players spoke of in this and that, it's execution. Do what you're supposed to do to get that first down and big plays will take care of themselves. It's just a matter of doing your job and knowing how to accomplish that in a must situation. And they've been in that situation for so long, the coaches are so confident, it's just a matter of putting the kids in the right situation. So, well, Dino, just in the last couple of seconds here, what do you think the key might be tonight's ball game for the Redskins? Stopping Newark Catholic on offense. The defense has played fantastic all year long. they got to rise to the occasion and keep the momentum on our side. Do not let, give up the big play. Make them go down to score the field and drive the ball to score. The defense can turn the tide. Yeah, I believe, in fact, if you read, you know, all of you have read the newspapers, that both coaches have said that. You know, the line of scrimmage, if we control the line of scrimmage, you know, we're going to win the ball game, and defense is the name of it. You know, we've got to hit them, and we've got to control that and let, you know, get our ground game established so that we can pass, you know, as an option. That doesn't, that's not something we want to do all the time. So it's going to be a great game, and if you love football, this is the one you're going to watch. And we'll be right back with the starting lineups and a little detail about the Newark Catholic Green Wave right after these messages. I like this. This is nice. I love it. 
Hi guys. Hi. 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 Hey, Mom and Dad. No, we went shopping at the economy store. The economy store? I didn't know what like that. Oh yeah, they have jeans and sweaters and even dress clothes for teens. Yeah, see what I got today? Oh, I like that. Are there any more laps? Yeah. Well, I'll see you guys later on at the economy store. Bye. Bye. You're looking for a really cute outfit for the special game or date. The Economy Store is the place to go for the latest in brand name fashion. Jeans like Chick, Lee, and Manisha, and to top it off, they have hundreds of sweaters, tops, and blouses. Styles that just don't stop. Earrings, big and small, change pins, and necklaces too. If you want top quality at low, low prices, this is the place for you. Clothes, purses, suits, and dresses, and all the necessities. If you want the best in high-tech dress, the economy store's the place to be. Mike Stoffel, owner of Pat's Gift Shop in Woodsfield, invites you to stop by and see his eight rooms, packed full of unique gifts, fine collectibles, and home accessories. For the collector, check out the precious moments. Maud Humphreys, Hummels, Memories of Yesteryear, Cat's Meow Village, and others. He has unique gifts and home accessories for every room in your home. Living room, kitchen, dining room, bedroom, and bath. There's a special children's room with a section of gifts for the newborn. An extensive bridal room which features a bridal registry service. And be sure to visit the Christmas room with hundreds of gifts and decorating ideas. Layaways and charge cards are always welcome. Free gift wrapping is always available. Be sure to stop by and let Mike, Pat, Marla, or Tina help you with your gift giving and decorating needs. Pat's Gift Shop in Woodsfield. Who put the service back in the service stations? BP, that's who. Yes, at Demchex BP, you get full service. Filling your tank is just the start. We also wash your windshields and check your motor oil and belts, hoses, coolant level, and windshield washer fluid. You stay in the driver's seat and relax while we do the work. Handicapped drivers receive full service at a self-service price. So the next time you need gasoline, pull up to the full service island at Demchex BP. Enjoy our special service with a smile. Nobody deserves it more than you. Good evening again from Zanesville, Ohio, and we're at the Sulzberger Memorial Stadium, and we're about 10 minutes before game time. Uh, Woodsfield Redskin Marching Band going onto the field for the playing of the National Anthem. And a little bit about the Green Wave of New York Catholic. The Green Wave have been in, the, in playoff competition uh, every year but two since 1973, missing only 1977 and 1989. They're coached by J.D. Graham, who's in his 21st year with a record of 217 wins, 30 losses, and one uh, tie. That's quite a record, an amazing record. The Green Wave plays in the Central Catholic League, where they were 9-1 and one this year in the regular season play. They played against such teams as Zanesville, Maysville, 28 to nothing, Columbus, St. Charles, Columbus, Reddy, Portsmouth, Notre Dame, Tuscarawas, Central Catholic. They beat by 38 to 6 score, just to name a few. Um, they lost, their only loss was a, to a Columbus Hartley team by a score of 6-7. to seven. Last week in their first round playoff game, they, were, they beat in a previously unbeaten Malvern team by a score of 22-6. to six. And of course, they've come in here this evening very confident that they're going to do the same thing to the Woodsfield Redskins. But of course, we're just as confident that they won't. Looking at their starting lineup, uh, they're led at quarterback by a senior. He'll wear number 12, and he's a fine one. Probably the best quarterback that we've seen this year. Uh, his name is Brian Graham, and he is the, son's, the son of the coach. Uh, he's 6'1", 165 pounds, and 135 passes. He's completed 79 for 1,269 yards, 14 touchdowns, and only six interceptions. He has a 60% completion ratio. He has led the offense to 32.5 points average a game. He not only can hurt you with his arm, but also with his foot, his leg, He's their kicker, and he's completed nine field goals and 21 point after attempts. They are also led by tailback number 34, a sophomore, Rob Kelly. Kelly is six foot three, 195 pounds. He's an all Ohio tailback, and the coach has said he's the best athlete that he's ever coached in his 21 years. Kelly, in 203 totes, has 1114 yards. 16 touchdowns, and he's a great one. So you want to watch number 34, Rob Kelly. 
Also at halfback is Tim Fleming, a senior, 5'9", 155 pounds. In 86 carries, he has 414 yards and three touchdowns. Also at fullback, number 33, Nathan Puckett, their regular fullback, uh, suffered a broken leg last week against Malvern and won't be playing this evening. We'll be right back with the rest of it after the playing of the national anthem. about ready here Con continuing uh, Nathan Puckett their regular fullback as I stated was uh, suffered a broken leg last week against Malvern so this week number 16 uh, a junior Paul Randalls uh, will be at the fullback position and also he'll play the linebacker position which Puckett also does he is six foot 180 pounds quarterback Graham's favorite receiver is a senior number 83 Mark Niemeyer. He's 6'1", 185 pounds, and he has 21 receptions for 381 yards and seven touchdowns. So this should be a great one. Um, Woodsfield coming in, of course, you know, they're up for this game. In 1983, you know, this, this team was the one who prevented us from going on in the second game of the playoffs. We feel that, you know, we have all the tools. This week, many of our boys were um, given postseason awards and we feel that we have the firepower and we will be able to handle the green wave this year. Um, any comments, Dino, going into the ball game? We talked on the field a little bit about the key to the game and, and what we need to do. Um, any further comments before the kickoff of this game? Yeah, I just feel that our kids need to, once the game develops and get the little jitters out after first couple hits, they just need to get that confidence level to believe that they step up to the next level and play. They've done it all year long. They have all the talent. They just have to play from their shoulders up, put their heart into it, just play themselves a nice game. Yeah, intimidation can't, can't affect at all. Uh, you got to get that first hit out and just raise yourself to another level and play with a lot of guts and, and you know, enjoy yourself. Go out and have fun. Coach was quoted, you know, telling the boys just to have fun and go do it. Uh, we feel that, you know, we have all the products and all the tools, so it's just a matter of execution, and I think maybe that's the key word for the night's ball game. And we'll be back with the starting kickoff uh, after these messages. Bellwood and Weber strive to bring you the best in personal service and good health. Your community drug stores offer insurance company billing, 24-hour emergency service, deliveries, and most important, one-on-one -on -one answers to your health questions. Locally owned, Bellwood and Weber's pay taxes to support our local schools and are proud of our kids. Joe, John, and Steve are not in the mail order business, but they are in the serving the people business. Bellwood Drug and Weber's Community Drug. They're here when you need them. Woodsfield Savings and Loan offers a variety of rates and terms to suit your home mortgage needs. Our low rates make owning your own home affordable. We pride ourselves in serving you quickly and efficiently. The Woodsfield Savings and Loan is an equal housing lender. See us for your home mortgage needs. 
Woodsfield Savings and Loan, open Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, 9 to 3. Thursday and Saturday, 9 to 12. Friday, 9 to 7. Woodsfield Savings and Loan. It's game time, and our Redskins are taking the field. Newark Catholic has just come out on the field and stood uh, while their fans cheered them to a standing ovation. Our Redskins are coming across to the visitors' sideline. We do have our black uniforms on, and we're ready for the kickoff. Uh, we won the toss, and we will be receiving going right to left as you look at the field. Uh, looking at a few of the postseason honors given to our Redskins um, selected player of the year in the Associated Press all Eastern District uh, at the lineman of the year was Steve Shoemaker a very worthy honoree co-coach of the year Jay Sacosta the first team all, uh, all district John Knowlton as a running back and Mike Leinhauser as a linebacker special mention Matt Ludwig was in the special mention and also Dalton Summers on the honorable mention and the AP All-Eastern District team, Mike Dimmerling. So there were several Redskins mentioned in the, in the postseason accolades and, and well-deservingly. So we're just ready for the kickoff of this. Number 12 will be kicking, which is the quarterback, Brian Graham. The coach's son, as I said before, back deep for us will be Noten, Lynn, and Leinhauser. They'll be standing on there... 10-yard line, so we're just ready to get this one underway. And the kick is a short one. Coming to the sideline, went out of bounds on the 29-yard line, so we have a flag the first thing. So he kicked it at the 29-yard line, out of bounds. So we'll have a decision here on the first play. I'm going to back this one up and Mr. Graham will be kicking this from the 35 yard line this time so I'm sure you're as anxious as we are to get this ball game underway there's a good feeling in the crowd the boys are very very confident and they feel this year is their year a nice kick this time coming to Lynn the far sideline and he stepped on the line at the 21-yard line, 22-yard line. So the Redskins are going to take over, first and 10, ball laying on the 21-and-a-half-yard line. Little break there. He could have got maybe 5, maybe 10 yards up the sideline, but he stepped on the out-of-bound line, Dino. Yeah, he made a bad decision there. Should have let the ball go out of bounds. Bad decision on Chris's part. So we're about ready for our first, first hike from scrimmage. The green wave in bright yellow pants and white shirt, green leggings, and our red sins, of course, in their favorite black uniforms with the red trimmings. Hand off, goes to Knowlton, and Knowlton's down in the backfield. Looks like possibly he lost four yards on the play. So kind of a surprise. They quick, uh, I figured they'd have a quick hitter to Linehauser. Maybe that's what Coach figured, that they would be looking for Linehauser up the middle. They gave it to Knowlton, and he was stomped in the backfield. So a loss. So we're going to have second down and 13. Second down, 13. And the ball is going to be laying on the 18-yard line. We have a slot out to the right as Ludwig prepares. And he's back, and he's got a man open, and just through his fingertips of Shane Dunn, number 34, at the 24-yard line. So we have third down. Yeah, just a nice play action pass right there. Just an out pattern to the tight end. Just went right through Shane's hands. So we have third and 13. Third and 13. As we break huddle with 11 minutes and 17 seconds. This time Russell was out wide to the right. 
eye formation in the backfield. We have a slot to the right. And we got third down on the 18 yard line. Let it begin. And the ball was given to the tailback and received possibly two, three yards on that. So we're going to have fourth down, the ball laying on the 20 yard line. So into the ball game to punt will be West, Chad West. He's standing on the five yard line. N nice line driver. Ball's coming to number 42. And 38 is down. Number 42 is down on the. <laughs> Tackled by Shoemaker. Nice tackle. Shoemaker the open field. down quickly there. Nice job. For the lineman of the year, down quickly. And the Green Wave is going to take the ball on the 34-yard line, first and 10, for their first series of plays. But we have clipping here, I guess, <coughs> against the Green Wave. So this is a break for the Redskins. Going to drop them back to the 29-yard 20, line. So that puts them back in the hole to start with. So hopefully that, that's a break that we can capitalize on. I think they had a little bit of mix-up who was going to get the ball on the kick and they had a clipping so we'll try to set your backfield for you number 12 as I said is a quarterback Brian Graham ball goes to 34 which is the Kelly boy and he's down after a short gain possibly of three yards four yards on the play So a nice job. Ball laying on the 32-yard line. Nice coverage by the defense on the short side of the field. Everyone did a good job. So then we have a slot out to the left and eye backfield, which include number 16 and Kelly. Kelly's back like he's going to throw, and he throws along to nobody. The ball is down to the 36 yard line and there was nobody there. There was a mix up on the play. I'm sure that the uh, the end number 83 was supposed to break long and he didn't do it. So Kelly back in the uh, kind of in a, an outfield position looking it over and it was over his head. So we have third down and seven. Number 16 in the back forward is the Randalls boy, who's a junior. He's six foot, 180 pound. The slot out to the right. Graham is back. He's to throw. And we have an interception. The ball is interception at the 40 yard line. And we're back to the 30 yard line. The ball was intercepted there by Chad Weber, number 22. Chad's a junior. Fantastic job by Chad. Yeah, the quarterback broke out of the pocket. And he stepped back inside, looked like he had room to run. He decided to throw the ball. Chad on the weak side corner, stepping across the middle. Made an outstanding read, broke on the ball, returned it a good 10, 15 yards. Give our offense ball on Newark's about 30-yard line. Okay, so a nice job here. And we're in a wishbone. We've got 10, Russell out to the left. We're at nine, 9 minutes and 10 seconds to go in the first quarter. Ludwig back again. He's looking. He's got... Got some room on the right-hand side, and he's down to almost the first down territory. He's out on possibly the 23-yard line, picked up possibly six, seven yards. A nice job by Ludwig. Great play action. Matt just seen the open field, knew he could outrun a guy to the sidelines, picked up all he can, picked up about seven yards. Great uh, read on his part. And he the, guy, the guy was open deep, but Matt just decided to put away and make some positive yardage, keep this offense going down the field. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. He had a man open. Dunn was open down on the 20-yard line, but he made a good decision and ran the ball for seven yards, maybe six and a half yards. And with timeout on the field, we'll be right back. <laughs> For all of your real estate needs, call Swiss Lands Realty at 472-0614.
If you are looking for a house in a small town or a small house for a starter home or weekend retreat, call Swiss Lands Realty. Perhaps you're looking for land to build your own home or just for hunting. Or maybe you're looking for a house with a spectacular view. We have nice homes with acreage or farms for beef and for dairy. And remember that cash buyers are always looking for acreage. We also have commercial properties available. Let Swiss Lands Realty help with all of your real estate needs. Call 472-0614. Swiss Lands Realty, located on Route 78, 6.9 miles east of the square, Woodsfield. The F.W. Shoemaker Insurance Agency was established in 1903 and is located at 140 North Main Street, Woodsfield. They have three agents and three customer service representatives to give you the kind of service you deserve. Being an independent insurance agency means they represent different companies allowing them to compare for you. For all of your insurance needs, auto, home, life, bonds, business, or farms, contact F.W. Shoemaker Insurance Agency. We're back second and four with nine minutes and three seconds remaining in the first quarter. Slot to the right. Hand off to Linehauser. Linehauser picks up three, possibly four yards, close to the first down. It's the wing right power right, Coach. His favorite play in there. Nice blocking in there. Going straight ahead. Be close for a first down. Looks like it's going to be maybe a yard. Third and one, possibly. They're coming out to measure. It's close enough for a measurement. This will be interesting to see how close we are here. Looks like about a, a yard, a short yard. So we're going to have third down, third down and short. That was the first carry for Linehauser. We'd like to establish that that run up the middle to open up Noten on the outside and also allow for the the passing. Ludwig possibly is the key to this game. You know, if he keeps his composure and does a nice job, which I'm sure he will do. So third and short. We have a slant out to the left and we're going to take this snap with 840. Linehauser. And he's got first down into the 19, maybe 18 yard line on just a straight up, straight up the middle move. Yeah, just the wing left, power left. You know, coach running out to the right and to the left trying to get that ground game stamp established. Did a good job moving the tackle out. Linehauser right in behind for a needed couple yards. Yeah, the key definitely has to be the line of scrimmage. If we can shoot off and get their, their defense moving and the backward direction, you know, we got this control. So we have Wishbone. Wishbone rustles off to the right. And the snap. Hand off goes to Knowlton. And he gets maybe a rough two. I'm sorry, it's Weber. Weber, the ball carrier. Yeah, that was just a belly series off the left-hand side, faking in line, Linehauser in there, giving it to Chad. Picked up a couple yards, not a huge haul in there but would definitely get, gain some yards. So it was second down and eight. It's seven minutes and 45 seconds remaining. Russell again going out wide to the right. We're gonna run out of the wishbone again with the full back house. Backfield, Linehauser, Noten, and Weber. And we have a flag. Delay of game call against Woodsfield. Took a little too much time getting the play in and getting it called. So we're going to be back second and 13. Second and 13. As Jeremy Cook brings in the play from the sideline. So that could be a crucial mistake for Woodsfield. Again, we have Russell out to the right. Wishbone in the backfield. Second and 13. Ludwig back. He's got a man open. And it's complete. That was and a great pass by Matt. The right defensive end's right in his face. 
got rid of the ball and he and hot pursuit nice completion in there for a needed 10 yard gain makes that third down and uh, about five that was a great play by matt sport yeah, he showed a lot of composure had a man coming right in his face and delivered the ball right where it needed to be and a good job by russell uh receiving the ball and tucking it in 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 traffic russell's coming out this side to our near side this time and again we're in the wishbone and it's third and five six minutes and 50 seconds in the first quarter ludwig keeping the ball and he's up to close to the first down nice yeah that was just a wishbone option right matt cut it up inside the end for some uh nice yardage in there looks like he's going to be about two yards short in there that was a nice play he did some nice side stepping up the middle and got close so we're fourth down fourth down and a long two dalrymple is going to attempt this field goal the ball is going to be laying on the it's going to be laying on the 17 yard line so the ball is up and it's good as it splits the upright great so, kick lumpy good job so with dalrymple three to nothing with 608 in the first quarter we get on the scoreboard and so we'll be right back with a kickoff after these short messages Rita's Beauty Shop, complete family hair care featuring manicures half price with hair service. Call 472-0964 to have beautiful hair and nails for the holidays. Many gift ideas and gift certificates available for services or products. Open six days a week, evening by appointment. Village Bake Shop is now taking orders for holiday items. Call 472-1369 for Christmas cookies, cakes, pies, cheese, and meat trays. And stop in November 11th to the 16th for their anniversary sale with bargains, gifts, and drawings. Village Bake Shop. Chrisman Supply, the only ready mix concrete plant in Monroe County. Stocking cement, mortar, sand, gravel, block, rebar, plate steel, angle iron, plastic pipe, roofing, wire mesh, gas line, and much more. A fleet of trucks is ready to deliver to your home or business. Call 472-0046. Chrisman Supply, serving Monroe County with competitive prices and dependable service and quality since 1956. So with six minutes and eight seconds, Dyrimple will kick back deep for the green wave to Kelly. And 42, Murphy. Ball goes to Kelly at about the 20-yard, 15-yard line, and he stomped at the 26-yard line, 27-yard line. Yeah, that was both linebackers, Linehauser and Shoemaker, and sophomore Jonathan Calder in there. Nice tackle. And they were down quick on the... Down quick. And they're going to have first and 10, ball laying on the 28-yard line. 28-yard line. Graham sets his team. I formation, we have Randalls and Kelly. Ball goes to Kelly, and he slips. And he picks up five, possibly four yards, up to the 31, 32-yard line. Looks like they gave him a short four. Looks like he might have had a hole, and he slipped. So we've got second and six. They gave him four. Second and six. Ball laying on the 32-yard line. We have wide out to the right. Again, Kelly. Kelly around this side. And a nice head-on tackle at the 38-yard line by Linehauser. And yeah. he's first down territory. Got outside the end there, and the corner had to come up and make the tackle. Picked up about, you know, eight, nine yards for the first down. Definitely can't let him on the outside of us. We almost had him in the backfield. He sidestepped one ta would-be tackler and got the first down. So the ball's going to be laying on the 39-yard line. Greg Murphy, 42, is wide out to the right. Randall's up the middle, and he picks up three, up to the 42-yard line. Going to be second and eight. Ball on the 42-yard line. And Blinehauser and Shoemaker both on that tackle in there. It's for a couple-yard gain. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Ball 
We have a slot to the right this time. Graham sets his team and quickly to Kelly, and he he stopped right there with a maybe a yard. That was possibly, a, not even that. That is a great job in there by uh, the junior tackle in there. Chad West did a fantastic job, and the linebacker came in and drilled him chest high. Perfect play for the defense. So it's one yard gain for Kelly. Up the middle, third and seven, ball on the 43 yard line. Three minutes, 50 seconds to go in the first, first quarter. Wide out to the left, slot to our right eye, backfield. Graham back, looking to pass. He's got a man open. Kelly. Oh, broken up by John nope. Knowlton. It's a good read on his part. Good Knowlton job. back. Like he was playing the outfield, I thought he was going to have the, the interception and knock the ball down. So it's going to be fourth down. Nice job by Knowlton. Yeah, it's a good thing the quarterback just didn't keep the ball and just run the ball. He had an, a wide open field. He'd have picked up the first down and more, but he threw the ball, and John did a good job getting back, knocking down the ball. Nice play. Lynn and Knowlton will be back. And the punter. Standing on the 30-yard line for the green wave. The punt is up. Noton's going to get it on the 26-yard line, 26-and-a-half-yard line, and a fair catch by Noton. So we're going to take over here, first and 10, and they place the ball on the 27-yard line. And there's 3 minutes and 29 seconds remaining in the first quarter. So the defense, again, has stood up to the test and done a nice job. Yeah, we need to establish something right here. Get this ground game going here. Got to yeah, move this ball down the field. I would look for Linehauser up the middle and establish that. And then, of course, you know, get the ball to Noton, the money man, out wide to the right, Russell. And, of course, we're in the wishbone again. Handoff up the middle goes to Weber. Possibly at two yards. That was Noton, 82. That was just a straight dive. Off our offensive left-hand side, Newark did a good job in there for a one-yard gain. So second and nine. Just a little more than three minutes remaining in the first quarter. Wing right. And Ludwig takes the snap. And again, Linehouse is straight up the gut. And he stopped possibly a yard gain by a slew of Green Wave defensive players. Yeah, that was a great job by uh, Newark's defense right there with a quick trap right in the, up the middle there, and they just stuffed that out. Mike picked up about one yard. Third down and eight. High backfield. Russell out wide to the right. Weber a slot to the right. Ludwig again rolls back, looking. And he passes the ball, but we do have a flag. He passed the ball. It was incomplete, but we do have a flag rolling back on the 28-yard line. We'll see what the call is by the line judge. So uh, we have an illegal man downfield against Woodsfield. He's going to put us back in a hole to boot this away when we have fourth down. And they're talking over the... It's been declined. The fourth down. Fourth down. And so West is on, and he'll punt the ball away. Two minutes. 12 seconds to go in the first quarter. Back will be Murphy. 24, Mitchell. Because it's coming to 34, Kelly. And he'll fair catch the ball on the 45-yard line, so the green wave will take over first and 10 with the ball laying on the 45-yard line. We need a big defensive stand here. We're up yeah. three to nothing. And the defense needs to stay on the outside here. 
they're converging down inside. They got to stay outside of contain the quarterback and the tailback, Kelly. So we have two wide outs to the right in an eye backfield. The ball goes to Kelly. He's up the left-hand side, and he has up to the 51-yard line for a hard six yards. He was stopped at the line of scrimmage and then plunged forward. Oh, they backed it up. They stopped him at the 49-yard line, so a gain of four, second and six. There's no 51, Dale. <laughs> There's no 51, Dino said. But <laughs> it just become a way of life with me, Dino. 51, 52-yard lines. <laughs> yeah, I like hearing that. <laughs> we're going to have a dictionary of all these terms that we've created. <laughs> we have a wide receiver out to the right. Graham is back. He's looking to... And he's got the ball. It's completed. A little hook pattern, the number 24. 24 being Ben Mitchell. He's a 5'10 senior. Um, he made a straight move down and hooked back to the ball. Reception on the 38-yard line. Yeah, it was just a great rollout pass. He stepped in a pocket, drilled about a 15, 20-yard pass out to the split end. Just a nice executed play. So we have a slot to the right, and we have an eye backfield. Big Kelly standing in the back, and the ball goes to Kelly. Kelly meets number 61, Summers, and gains another three yards. The ball placed on the 35-yard line. Some power running by Kelly. So it's going to be second down six. Ball on the 35-yard line. Yeah, Newark has opened up some holes on this offense. These guys got some room to run. Defense is going to have to toughen up here. So again, the eye backfield. Ball goes to Kelly. Kelly again. And he's down close to the first down, depending on where they mark it. Looks like it's going to be short, possibly a yard on the 30-yard line. Again, he ran over a tackle back on the 27-yard line. 32-yard line, 33-yard line, and just powered forward, and the ball going to be laying on the 30-yard line. 30-yard line. Third down and one. Five seconds remaining in this first quarter. We may get this play off if he hurries. Ball goes to Kelly. Kelly has the first down plus. He's down to the 32-yard line. And another nice, another nice run by Rob Kelly. They're all Ohio tailback. So with the first first quarter ending, our Redskins are up three to nothing, but the green wave is marching down the field, and we'll be right back. <coughs> Have you driven a Ford lately? Knowlton Ford Mercury in Woodsfield has new and used cars and trucks to fit your family and your budget. They carry a full line of quality Ford parts with trained mechanics to service your automobile. Extend the life of your tires with bare front-end alignment service. Saw your winter heating bills in half with a home light chainsaw and accessories from Knowlton's. And don't forget bar and chain oil, lube oil, and two-cycle engine oil. Knowlton Ford Mercury in Woodsfield. Family owned and operated for 20 years. Masters Garage features a full line of Quaker State products such as Quaker State oil, filters of all kinds, lube products, and parts to keep your vehicle in top running condition. Masters Garage features a 24-hour record service honoring AAA and other auto clubs. They specialize in custom exhaust work with the Ben Pearson muffler shop, as well as custom brake installation and lube jobs. Masters Garage and Quaker State oil, one tough motor oil. So the start of the second quarter, the green wave, ball laying on the 22-yard line, first and 10. Kelly sets his team. He has a wide out to the right. They're in the eye formation. Kelly, the ball to the right, and he's met at the 15-yard line for another nice gain off that right-hand side. He's a power runner. They're just running an eye formation isolation left and right going off tackle and the tailback has his option to cut in inside the end or right outside he's doing a good job Nurk's doing a good job blocking the defensive end he can go in and out linebackers got to fill that gap and they're not quite getting there okay so we have second down four 11 minutes and 25 seconds remaining in the eye formation again 
Ball again goes to Kelly. He's around this side, and he's got some room down to the 10-yard line. And it's very close to first down. Yeah, I'll tell you what. They tackled our defensive end that time. That was a big-time hold, and they just literally drug him down. No call on the official's part. He can't get out there if they're going to just knock him down. So here we are. We're going to measure again. It may be close. May be close. So we're stretching out the chains. And we're first down. It is a first down. Ball's going to be laying on the 12-yard line. Short 12 yard yards to pay dirt. And Kelly showing why he's an all-state runner. Doing a very nice job. Of course, they're clear creating some nice holes for him and clogging up that middle, and he's breaking it to the outside. Murphy ball goes to 42 Murphy on a exchange play and he's in for the touchdown with 10 minutes and 53 seconds the green wave scores by number 42 which is Greg Murphy the 5'8 150 pound he's a junior and of course you know we get lined up we're ready for Kelly and the handoff comes to Murphy and he splits up through the middle and breaks back and drives into the end zone. Yeah, it was just a nice counter play, all that wing left power left formation. Just cut it right up the middle. Nice so job. So Graham on to kick, and the ball is up. And it is, it's wide to the right, and it's no good. So the Green Wave 6, Woodsfield Redskins 3, uh, with 10 minutes and 53 seconds remaining in the second quarter. And we'll be right back with the Redskins taking over. Let Woodsfield True Value Home Center help you get ready for the holidays with their huge assortment of gifts. Ladies and men will love the variety of small appliances, tools, and home accessories. And kids of all ages will be pleased with a shiny new bike. And just in time for entertaining, redecorate your home with 20 to 30% savings on wallpaper. Complete your new look with carpet in designer colors and patterns and custom window blinds from Levelor. Woodsfield True Value for one-stop holiday shopping. So with the score 6-3, to three, with 10.53 left in the second quarter, Graham kicks the ball, and it's short, dropping on the 22-yard line and out of bounds on the 18. So again, we're going to back it up and try this again. Back deep for the Redskins will be Linehauser and Noten and, of course, Lynn. And I, I think they're trying to kick the ball on that right-hand side where uh, Lynn's at, keep it away from Linehauser or Noten, and they simply kick it out of bounds. So they're going to back it up on the 35-yard line, and Graham will try it again. So our Redskins need to establish their offense now in this series. The kick again. It'll back Lynn up. He's got the ball on the 16-yard line, straight up the middle. He's got some room. He's still on his feet. He's up to the 35-yard line, and he's stopped in there by number 66 for the Green Wave, Steve Thornton, which is a 5'8 sophomore. So we're going to have the ball laying on just on our side of the 35-yard line. 10 minutes and 40 seconds to go in this first half. As Ludwig will break the huddle. Russell out wide to the left. We're in the wishbone formation. Ludwig looks over the defensive stance. And a quick handoff to Linehauser. Linehauser picks up possibly five going to be laying on the 40-yard line. Yeah, nice hole in there. Just a belly right. Nice hole in there by Dalton Summers and Mike Dimmerling. Mike finally got himself a little crack in there. 
picked up and needed five yards right there. Nice they play on first down. They did a nice job there opening up that middle and getting some room. So the ball is going to be just shy of the 40-yard line. Where it'll be second down and five and a half, maybe six. Again, we're running out of the wishbone. And Russell out wide to the left. Second down. Ball just shy of the 40-yard line. This time it goes to Knowlton. Knowlton's got some room, and he's down close to the 44, 45-yard line. And he stopped there by 74. Is Brandon Court Patrol? We have an official's timeout. Looks like we have an injury on the field. Attending Noten, sitting on the 42-yard line. Looks like he's looking at an ankle. Noten, of course, has had some, some shoulder problems earlier in the season. This time it looks like maybe he's sprained an ankle. Hopefully it's just a... Uh, a cramp or something and he'll be able to walk it off. So everybody apprehensive as Noten gets up and gingerly walks to the sideline. Looks like he's going to be all right. He's, he's favoring his right ankle. So after the timeout, Noten walking on his own strength out to the sideline. West will come out to the right. And we run out of the wishbone again. We have uh, flags. Let's see what the officials call. We have illegal procedure against the Redskins. Looked like somebody moved. So another mistake. Going to put us back to the 39-yard line, 39-and-a-half-yard line. So it'll be third down, third down, third down and six. Stewart comes into the ball game with the play. Lynn into the ball game, replacing Knowlton, will be slot to the right. Ludwig back. He's got Russell. And it's interference, I believe. We have a flag. Looked like Russell had the ball. And the defender just simply stuck his head in the way. And they, they threw a flag. So I assume that'll be an interference call against number 24, which will be Kelly. Uh, that would be a 15-yarder automatic first down, so we'll see. So it was a really nice job by Matt Ludwig. Kept his composure. He had pressure in the backfield, and he delivered the ball. It was a nice pass to, to Russell. Russell had to slow up a little bit, which allowed the defensive man to get there, but it was a nice play. So, again, Russell will be out wide to the left. Weber slot left. We're in an eye formation in the backfield. Ludwig and the ball comes on the right hand side Noten and Noten's down to the 42 yard line Noten back in after being out of play couple plays that was just a loose formation and a 46 trap back to the, back to the tight end side for a three yard three and a half four yard gain in there nice job Noten came up you know a little gimpy on that ankle again so, looks like he probably won't be 100%, but he's a gamer. Takes a lot to get him down. There's Slot out to the left. And it's back, Ludwig running for his life around the left-hand side, and he's being driven out of bounds there by number 45 for the green wave, Ryan Abel. Yeah, Ricky Russell was wide open for the first down. Matt was just running outside. He just didn't see him. Yeah, it's hard when you're running for your life, huh? He, um, 
A lot of pressure, a lot of pressure that time. It looked like five or six men coming after the quarterback. Of course, you have somebody open, but it's hard to see them. He was tackled there by Ryan Abel, a six foot, 185 pound sophomore. Russell's out to the right, and we do have a slot to the right in the high formation. Ball on the 45 yard line. Okay, they have the draw play. Noton, Noton's got some room, and he breaks it up to the 33, 4, 33 yard line on a first down. Nice job. I thought he was going to break it there. I believe the ankle maybe had been just a little better. He may have broken that one, Dino. Um, yeah, I can't really tell how bad that's hurting John right now, but he did a fantastic job on a draw play. Nice call by Coach. Nice blocking. Nice move. Picked up a very needed first down here. So we have a timeout on the field. Newark Catholic again asking for timeout, and we'll be right back after our timeout. Okay, kid, you're on your own now. Oh, there'll be tough times. There's a lot of cold years ahead of you. But I know you can come through. You'll, you'll warm up just fine. Remember, you come from dependable stock. I know you won't let me down. Just remember whose name you're wearing. I'm proud of you. Real proud. I am. Furnaces that can stand up to the cold year after year after year. Almond Heating and Cooling, 24-hour service. I like this. This is nice. Mom and Ben. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Hey, Mom and Ben. No, we went shopping at the economy store. The economy store? I didn't know they had clothes like that. Oh, yeah. They have jeans and sweaters and even dress clothes for teens. Yeah. See what I got today? Oh, I like that. Better than you that? Yeah. Well, I'll see you guys later on at the economy store. Bye. Bye. You're looking for a really cute outfit for the special game or day. The Economy Store is the place to go for the latest in brand name fashion. Jeans like Kick, Lee and Manisha, and to top it off, they have hundreds of sweaters, tops and blouses, styles that just don't stop. Earrings, big and small, change pins and necklaces too. If you want top quality at low, low prices, this is the place for you. Clothes, purses, suits and dresses and all the necessities. If you want the best in high-tech dress, the economy store's the place to be. We have a first down ball laying on the 30 three-yard line into green wave territory slot to the right handoff goes to Linehauser and he dives to the 28-yard line on a nice pickup off the right-hand side it's the wing right power right nice job in there Mike just couldn't quite break the tackle run hard lean leaned forward for a couple yard a couple extra yards so they placed the ball on the 29-yard line. 29-yard line. Looks like we have second down and six. Second and six. Slot to the right. Would be Weber. Ludwig. Again, he's back looking to pass. He's got a man. He's got Noten and just a little out of his reach. A nice, nice play. Yeah. And he just out of the reach of Noten. That was a sure touchdown if we just delivered that one. Nice play. Yeah, that's just a wing right power right special. Both ends are running flags on that. And you try to throw that to the backside end on a flag. It was open. It was a nice play. Matt just overthrew him a little bit. But it was a nice job. Nice job by Ludwig. Nice job by Noten to be open. Out wide to the left. Russell. Slot left. Weber. Ledwig again on the option. He keeps it, and he stops short of the first down. And he's down to about the 27-yard line. Going to be fourth down. Going to be six minutes and 23 seconds remaining in this half. So it's going to be a fourth down. Ball on the 27-yard line. Long 27. So... Six minutes, 
Six minutes to go. We're going to go for this one, of course. Down here deep, we're just a little out of field goal range. High backfield. We have wide outs both right and left. Ludwig back to pass, and he's, he's sacked. Sacked on the 39-yard line as a green wave came in on a green wave and downed him. They're placing the ball on the 38-yard line where the North Catholic will take over first and 10 with five minutes and 50 seconds remaining in the first half of this ball game. Newark up six to three. So Kelly will set his team. Kelly and Randall in their backfield. We have a split out to the right again on that little off play, Murphy, and he gets another four yards and a little misdirection play. It's the wing left power left formation and that wingman just comes on an inside handoff just a nice little counter in there they block it straight on he just picks the best hole he sees in there for a nice four yard gain in there and does a nice job out to the side would be Mitchell wide to the left eye formation in the backfield slot to the right Graham back and he's looking to pass he's got some room and he's got a man open and Murphy has the ball and one man to beat, and he marches into the end zone. I tell you what, Newark Catholic just tackled Shane Dunn again, the defensive end, just literally took him down both arms right around his legs. They don't call that defensive end, doesn't have a chance to contain a quarterback. Terrible calls out there. So, with four minutes and 56 seconds remaining in the half, Graham finally delivers on a long pass uh, to number 42, Murphy. I'm Greg Murphy, who's a 5'8", 150-pound junior, and so 12 to 3. And Newark will go for two on this since they missed their last field goal attempt. They have twins out to the right. Graham back, looking to pass. He's got a man open in the end zone. And they convert on a two-point conversion. So with four minutes and 56 seconds, the score 14 to three in favor of Newark Catholic. And we'll be right back. Have you driven a Ford lately? Knowlton Ford Mercury in Woodsfield has new and used cars and trucks to fit your family and your budget. They carry a full line of quality Ford parts with trained mechanics to service your automobile. Extend the life of your tires with bare front end alignment service. Saw your winter heating bills in half with a home light chainsaw and accessories from Knowlton's. And don't forget bar and chain oil, lube oil, and two cycle engine oil. Knowlton Ford Mercury in Woodsfield. Family owned and operated for 20 years. Who put the service back in the service stations? BP, that's who. Yes, at Demchex BP, you get full service. Filling your tank is just the start. We also wash your windshields and check your motor oil and belts, hoses, coolant level, and windshield washer fluid. You stay in the driver's seat and relax while we do the work. Handicapped drivers receive full service at a self-service price. So the next time you need gasoline, pull up to the full service island at Demchex BP. Enjoy our special service with a smile. Nobody deserves it more than you. Graham will again kick back deep. Linehauser, Knowlton, and Lynn. Kick is up. It's a line drive kick. It'll go to Knowlton on the 15-yard line. Knowlton straight up the middle. He's got a short seam, and he's down to the 42-yard line on a nice return. So good job by John. Straight up the middle. Had some good blocking, and they placed it on the 42. We're going to have this ball first and 10 with 4 minutes and 50 seconds remaining in the half. First and 10, 42-yard line. Nice job by John Noten. Ludwig coming on, and he'll set this offense. Yeah, the guys need to settle down here, regroup, and they just got to put some points on the board. Yeah, there's a lot of time. No sense in getting all excited yet. A lot of time. We have a slot to the left. Ludwig. Handoff goes to Linehauser. Linehauser's got a seam, and he's through. He's got some room up the middle, and he cuts back toward the middle. He's down to the 27-yard line. Great Nine. call, great trap block by the backside guard and tackle. 
fantastic job. Mike cut back, put a nice move on the backside corner coming across. Can't ask for a better play. Get us down in scoring position once again. We're down in beautiful position again. We're down on the 27 and a half, 28 yard line on a nice play. Just a simple outside play. Came down the sideline. Saw he couldn't outrun. Stepped back to the middle and picked up another five or six yards. Ball laying on the 28 yard line. Russell's out wide to the right. Wishbone formation in the backfield. Hand off goes to Knowlton. Knowlton's got a seam. He's down to the 22 yard line. And he's picked up six. Nice job again. Yeah, the offensive line starting to open up some holes, some holes now. Give these guys a little room to run. I tell you, it just makes me sick, the officials. We're playing defense. They're not calling that holding penalty on our defensive ends. They can't do nothing about it. That's, that's a shame. They're, they're not leaving it up to the kids playing out there. Yeah, it's a kid's ball game. That's for sure. And you, you hate to see that in any kind of situation. So we have slot to the right is 82 Noten. Weber and Leinhauser in the backfield. Leinhauser off the left-hand side and he's down to the 20-yard line. So it looks like it's going to be third and two, possibly. Ball going to be placed on the 20-yard line. So we're coming up with a third down, third and two. Yeah, it was just a wing right. Uh, Redskin special with uh, the backside guard and tackle pulling, giving him the fullback off the left-hand side. Nice traps. Mike just ran right inside of it. Got all he could get, running real hard in there. Okay, Russell out wide to the right. Again, out of the wishbone. Needed two yards here. And Noten dives ahead and looks like he's got the first down. It'll be close. It's going to depend on where they place it, but it should be. We definitely need a, a friendly placement here. They're going to uh, bring on the, the measurement sticks, and we'll see. But it should be. as the chains are set and first down by the length of the football I saw that all the way do you know I didn't need to measure so the ball is going to be placed on the 18 yard line needed first down we got to get this ball in the end zone here most definitely as you can tell here Dino just a little bit hyper <laughs> we got a good game going here slot to the left slot to the left Ludwig gives the ball to Leinhauser. Leinhauser down to the 15. Picked up possibly three. Going to be second and seven. Just second and seven. Ball placed on the 15. That was just a wing left. Uh, Redskin special pulling the backside to the right side. Mike cutting in behind those trap blocks again. Nurk just did a better job. Mike only picked up two or three yards in there. Okay, slot right is Weber. Second need. Noten. Noten's got some room. Noten's looking at the end zone, and he's tore down at the possibly four-yard line. Some Just a quick toss out the left-hand side. Jeremy Cook, the def uh, offensive tackle, did a good job kicking First out down. the corner. John did a great job cutting back. Second effort in there, got the ball all the way down to the four-yard line. First and goal. You could just see him almost, you know, when they saw that goal line, man. He was ready. So we have a timeout on the field as Newark again wants to talk this over. So we'll be back. The ball laying on the five yard line, first and goal, with two minutes and 18 seconds remaining in the half. And we'll be right back. Let Woodsfield True Value Home Center help you get ready for the holidays with their huge assortment of gifts. Ladies and men will love the variety of small appliances, tools, and home accessories. And kids of all ages will be pleased with a shiny new bike. And just in time for entertaining, redecorate your home with 20 to 30% savings on wallpaper. Complete your new look with carpet in designer colors and patterns and custom window blinds from Levelor. Woodsfield True Value for one-stop holiday shopping. So first and goal with two minutes and 18 seconds remaining slot to the left 
Ludwig. Handoff goes to Linehauser. Linehauser is down to possibly the two yard line. Rough yardage in that middle. Yeah, Mike ran real hard in there. Just off the offensive right hand side. Lean forward. Looks like he's almost down to the one. So we got second and goal. Ball lane on the two yard line. This is a place for that line to prove themselves. Get a good quick start off that line. Open up some holes. Russell is out wide to the left. He's the wishbone. Ball to Knowlton, and he's in for a touchdown. So the Redskins score with one minute and 44 seconds remaining in this half. Just a belly six off the right-hand side. Fantastic hole in there. John just darted through. Nice job. <coughs> so Knowlton scores. 14 to 9 here. Dalrymple on and will kick. Ludwig will hold. Shoemaker will snap this ball. Ball back. And it's blocked. <coughs> Number 71 came through to block, which was Lenny Smith, a 6'1", 205-pound senior. So with one minute and 44 seconds left in this first half of action, our Redskins have scored, and the score, the Green Wave 14, the Redskins 9. We'll be right back with a kickoff after a short break. We're back. This is Dino Robinson and Dale Eddy. We're here at Zanesville, Ohio, the Sulzberger Memorial Stadium, where our Redskins have scored. It's the score 14 to 9 as the ball is taken on the 15-yard line by Kelly. Kelly's got some room, and he's out to the left-hand side. He's got one man to beat, and he's going to go all the way on the kickoff. So number 34, Rob Kelly, the all-state tailback for Newark Catholic Green Wave, picked up the ball at the 15-yard line, broke to the outside, broke a couple tackles and scampered in just that quickly to go back up 20 to 9. And we still got a minute and 30 seconds remaining in the half. Kelly, number 12, will try the point after. Kelly missed the first one. The kick is up and again it's off to the right this time so kelly has been off once to the left and once to the right so with one minute and 30 seconds the green wave jump on top again 20 to 9 and we'll be right back for the final one minute and 30 seconds of this half after a short break We have one minute and 30 seconds to get this kickoff and drive it into the end zone before the half. Kelly, it's a short kick. It comes to Linehauser and bounces off of his chest out of bounds. And it's going to be on the 17-yard line. Kind of a swivel kick, and it came down, and Linehauser wasn't able to come up with it. He tried to feel it like a ground ball, and it just came off his, his chest and his face mask and bounced out of bounds before he could get control of it. The ball is going to be laying on the 17-yard line. We have first and 10. First and 10 with a minute and 30. Russell will go out wide to the left, running out of the wishbone. Ludwig. Quick handoff. Linehauser. Up the middle, and possibly a yard, two yard. So they're placing the ball on the 19. Placed on the 19 yard line, second and eight. Second and eight. Russell again, out to the left. Weber slot left. Ludwig again. 
Uh, again, a quick handoff. Ludwig dropped and gave the ball to Knowlton. Of course, they smelled it out that time, and he lost a couple yards. The ball is going to be on the 15-yard line. Or it's going to be third and 12. Yeah, John slipped in there. They didn't have anywhere to go. His ankles really bother him, but our guys are definitely shook up here. They need to calm down and just relax. Game's not over. Got a long way to go. Yeah, it's a long half. So out to the left again, Russell. 22 seconds remaining in the half. Ball goes to the left-hand side. Knowlton, and he's up. He's about to the 18, 17-yard line. Weber, the ball carrier. So with the half is going to run out. And with the half of play running out, the Newark Catholic Green Wave, the score of 20, our Woodsfield Redskins, 9. We'll be right back with our Woodsfield High School Marching Band. Rita's Beauty Shop, complete family hair care featuring manicures half price with hair service. Call 472-0964 to have beautiful hair and nails for the holidays. Many gift ideas and gift certificates available for services or products. Open six days a week, evening by appointment. Village Bake Shop is now taking orders for holiday items. Call 472-1369 for Christmas cookies, cakes, pies, cheese, and meat trays. And stop in November 11th to the 16th for their anniversary sale with bargains, gifts, and drawings. Village Bake Shop. Master's Garage features a full line of Quaker State products such as Quaker State oil, filters of all kinds, lube products, and parts to keep your vehicle in top running condition. Master's Garage features a 24-hour record service honoring AAA and other auto clubs. They specialize in custom exhaust work with the Ben Pearson muffler shop as well as custom brake installation and lube jobs. Master's Garage and Quaker State oil, one tough motor oil.
Oh, <laughs> So again, our Woodsfield Redskin marching band leaving the field after another nice performance. And we'll be right back with the second half of play with the score 20 to 9 in favor of the Green Wave of Newark Catholic. And we'll be right back. The halfback, Fleeman's a junior. The ball is short. It comes to the up back, 28 at the 35 yard line and he brings it and he's out of there he broke out of the pack somehow he looked like he was down at the 40 yard line, line down and he simply got up and proceeded up and the ball is laying on the 48 yard line kind of an unusual play there yeah just like last week when uh, everyone was waiting for the whistle to blow and Ricky picked up that ball and ran for a touchdown against Shady Side. our guys Same just stand, there, yeah. stand around there looking for the ball and a guy popped through they don't hear a whistle. They got to keep looking for the ball. That's bad on our part. That was number 28, Chris Fluharty. Ball again to Kelly. Kelly's got some room, and he's around the right-hand side. Nothing between him and the end zone. But one man who gets him from the back, which was number 82, Knowlton. Knowlton with a touchdown-saving tackle at the 10-yard line. And he ran him down from behind with a gamey ankle. So the green wave again come out and, and they've established their running game. The ball's down to the seven yard line. Kelly of course is a very fine runner and we're going to have first and ten, first and goal on the seven yard line. So just that quickly they're smelling the end zone again. Eye backfield again to Kelly. Kelly's caught in the backfield by Linehauser. Linehauser tackles him at the 44 yard line a beautiful job. Yeah, he blitzed the linebacker in there. Mike did a fantastic job grabbing the legs of Kelly in the backfield. Nice play in there. Yeah, that's the kind of play we need. See, that quickness that we have. We've got a lot of quickness. Linehouser simply split through the line before he could get blocked and caught him for a loss. Ball's going to be back on the 10-yard line. So it's still going to be second and goal. They placed the ball on the, said the 9-yard line on the board. Man in motion is 42. And we have a delay of game, I believe. We have a flag in the end zone. That's going to be again against the green wave. A delay of game. So that backs the ball to the 14-yard line. So it's going to be second and 14. So at least you know we got to move it in the right direction. We can just keep them going this way. <laughs> Most definitely. Hopefully that helped us out here. The defense come up with a big play. we got to keep them out of the end zone. Wide out to the left is 28, which is a flu hardy boy who just made that nice play in motion. 42. 42 is Greg Murphy. Graham back looking. He got a man open. And he throws the ball into the end zone to number 83 for a touchdown. Number 83 is Mark Neumeyer. Neumeyer is a 6'1", 185-pound senior. He delivered a strike right to the corner of the end zone where Neumeyer was waiting. And 
We had two men there, but he was just behind him. So again, number 12, Cram uh, will attempt his third field goal. The other two have not been successful. And it's a fake. And number 10 runs it in for two-point conversion on a slick play by the Newark Catholic. They faked the, the punt and gave it to number 10, who is Brian Klocknick. Klockner is a 5'10", 160-pound sophomore, and he simply ran it in off the right-hand side for the two-point conversion. So with 10 minutes and 27 seconds remaining in the third quarter, uh, Newark has jumped up 28 to 9. And that's not exactly what we had in mind, you know. They marched down quickly again and uh, picked up another quick score. We can't continue to let that happen. Yeah, nice calls by Newark. That running play that they broke all the way down the seven-yard line, just that uh, eye formation isolation off the left-hand side. He cut back. Uh, John just luckily caught him by the ankle and tripped him up to seven. Had a nice penalty in there. He just rolled out with a nice pass protection. And number 83 just ran a drag pattern to the corner of the end zone. Had plenty of time. Just hit him right in the numbers. Yep, just got behind the, the defensive pursuit. And so another quick score by the Green Wave. The Green Wave have things pretty well under control here. It's going to be up to us to make something happen. Graham again. Short kick. Comes to Weber. Weber gets a seam, but he's down on his knee at the 35-yard line. It was picked up to 30, and he had a seam up that middle, but he simply slipped down there. And the ball is going to be placed on the 36-yard line, 35-and-a-half-yard line. We're going to have first and 10 for our first possession of this second half trailing by 28 to 9 with 10 minutes and 20 seconds remaining in this game. Let's see if we can establish something here. Get this ball moving down the field. We have a slot out to the left as Ludwig again gives it to Leinhauser. Leinhauser drops the ball and it's loose. Still bouncing around. It's going to be picked up. It's blown dead. It's going to be blown dead back. That's a that's quite a play, you know. I never saw a ball. Yeah, that ball was kicked all over the place. That makes four out of many. <laughs> I'd say scored out of so many people's hands. You know, I, that, it came out of Linehouser's arms, and I thought sure that the Green Wave was going to pick it up, and they fumbled it, and another one fumbled it, and so it's too bad we didn't get the last fumble. We had a man down at about the 48-yard line, and they blew it dead. So we have a slot out to the right as Weber. Ludwig is back to pass. He's got Norton over the middle, and he throws it just slightly behind him. And 34 is hit hard there by Rob Kelly. Norton's hit hard at the 47-yard line. He was open. He just threw a little bit behind him. The right idea. Had Norton across the middle of that, that zone defense and had him open. Uh, Ludwig just passed a slightly behind him. Norton out to the left. Out wide to the right will be Russell. Eye formation. Ball comes to Norton. Norton fakes. Norton is forward for a first down. Looks like he's going to be up to the 47-yard line. Yeah, coach just split John out to the left with Ricky Russell out to the right put Chad back at the tailback in there just trying to get John in the open field one-on-one -on -one. made a nice couple moves for the first down in there now that, that's a gutsy job you know he's very gamey on that ankle in fact he's going out here where they'll work on that ankle again that was a gutsy job again we have Russell out to the right this time Ludwig straight up the middle, and he's going to be close to the 50-yard line, about the 49-yard line. 49-and-a-half-yard line. We're gained possibly two, three yards, and they're going to place it second and eight on the board with eight minutes and 45 seconds remaining in this third quarter. Norton's back in. Russell will be out left. Again, Toss to this side to Norton, and it's bounced to him. So 
So they kind of short hop to him, and so it's incomplete. Third, third and eight. <coughs> third and eight with eight minutes and 30 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Ball on the 49-yard line. Again, out to this side will be Knowlton. Russell is out wide to the left. High backfield again. Ludwig drops, and he's got pressure. <laughs> Knowlton, tended for Knowlton. There were three men covering. Knowlton came back to get the ball, and luckily the ball fell incomplete at the 30-yard line. So it's going to be fourth and eight, and we will have to punt this ball away. Ball leg on the 49-yard line. Chad West on the punt. Going to be standing on his 36-yard line. Be nice to get a nice punt. It's a long punt. Comes to the far side. Going to be marked on about the 37-yard line. Picked up there on the opposite side. And run out of bounds. By number... 10 for the Greenway, which is Klockner. So oh. they're going to have first and 10, ball on the 39-yard line, Dino. And we need a good defensive performance here. Yeah, the defense has got to do something. It's been our strong point all year. They're giving up the big plays tonight. We need to step up there and start stopping this attack. So they have twins out to the left-hand side. Ball's going to give to Kelly again. Kelly lowers his head, and he's close to a first down. He does a nice job. Would-be tackler at the 42-yard line. He just gets down very low to the ground and drives forward. He's tackled there by Linehauser out of bound, and it's going to be second and three, it looks like, with the ball on the 46-and-a-half, 37-yard line. Tackled by Weber, I guess, out of bounds. So second and three. Second and three, eight minutes, ten seconds, remaining in the third quarter. Toss comes back to Kelly. Nice block up front. That looked like uh, he's down for a first down over midfield to about the 44 yard line. So it's going to be after the toss back to Kelly. They, they, Kelly is predominantly the only runner that they go to. Three out of four times. Ball on the 44-yard line. He's a big kid. He does a nice job. Almost to drop. Graham. Graham drops the ball, then picks it up and tried to come to the, the outside. Weber stops him after a gain of possibly a yard. So we're going to have second down and nine. Yeah, defense has got to regroup here. Just giving up too many yards. So the ball on the 43 and a half yard line, 43 and a half yard line, second and nine, second and nine. Slot to the right, out wide. Graham is back, looking to pass. He's loose, and he's got some room. He di dives past one would-be tackler, and he goes down to the 40 yard line, and 61, Dalton Summers. And we have a flag. And we have someone down on the field hurt laying on the 33-yard line. So it's going to be a personal foul call against the Catholic. And we do have an injured player laying on the 33-yard line for Woodsfield. And this is a big penalty. Yeah, bringing them back in their own, own territory. Ball going to be placed on the 40. 45 yard line big penalty big penalty Dimmerling is the injured player and he walks off so that's good news so we have a third down third down here with the ball laying 
on the 45 yard line 45 yard line now if we can just keep from giving up the big play here and get this ball back with six minutes and 50 seconds remaining in this third quarter wide out to the left I formation in the backfield slot to the right Kelly back he's looking to pass and he's got some pressure he's down there on the 35 yard line knocked down by Dalton Summers Dalton Summers it looked like Powell, Stephen Powell, also on it. So it's going to be fourth down, ball lane on the 35, 36-yard line. Fourth and 30. A nice job defensively. Yeah, both the uh, last two defensive plays, we had good pressure on the quarterback. Last time he scrambled, that time they got the sack. Good job. Yeah, that was a big play, important play. Okay, the punt is up. And it backs Knowlton up. Knowlton gets the ball. He's going to be down to the eight-yard line as he picks it up and comes toward the sideline. And he's down on right at the 10-yard line, 15-yard line. So that was a, a long punt. And, of course, it was over John's head. John tried to get the ball, uh, but it dropped back to about the 7-yard line, and he returned it to the 15-yard line. So we're going to be deep in our own territory with a first and 10. Five minutes and 45 seconds remaining. Uh, and we got several, several points to make up here. Yeah, that was a tremendous so punt to put us all the way back and deep in our territory. Out wide to the left is Russell. Okay, Linehauser is up past the 20 yard line. He's up to the 21 yard line. Looks like he picked up maybe five yards, long five, maybe six yards on that. So it's going to be second and four. And yeah, just that belly series right in behind Shoemaker. Nice hole in there for a good five yards. Again, in the wishbone. Russell is out to the left. Ludwig. This time, he's passing, and just over the outreached hand of Knowlton. Again, he was open out there. Ludwig just couldn't deliver the ball to him. And he had some room if he could have got that one. So, third down and four. As into the ball game comes Stewart with the play from the sideline. We have an I formation in the backfield with a slot to the left, Weber. And the ball goes to Dunn. Dunn caught the ball. He's in first down territory, and we're up to the 37, 38 yard line. Uh, Shane Dunn out of the backfield or out that right hand side, right in the middle of that zone, and did a nice job pick up in first down. Yeah, that was a great play action dump pass to the tight end right there for, uh, you know. Perfect executed play for a nice first down. Nice catch, Shane. Nice throw by Matt. Out wide to the right will be Russell. Slot to the right is Weber. And Weber will be in motion this time. Toss back. Goes to Knowlton. Knowlton's got a little bit of a seam. And he's up to possibly the 45-yard line. Nice, nice performance by Knowlton. He got a couple of nice blocks. And we're on the 45-yard line. Going to be second and four. So yeah, second just, and four. Just a simple sweep to the outside. Nice blocking out there. John just cut back. Again, same formation. Again, fake. And Ludwig faked like he was going to toss the ball back to Knowlton and looked downfield to throw the ball, and he was smothered right there, and he lost. He lost a couple yards on that. Be third down and six, it looks like. Ball lay on the 43-yard line. Yeah, Matt just faked the 38 pitch out there. Tried to hit the tight end across the middle. Newark just had it snuffed. He had to eat the ball. Nowhere to run. So we're sending wide receivers on each side. We have an eye formation in the backfield. 
John Norton on this side. Jolton and the ball. We have an interception, but we do have a flag. Looked like the ball was right in the hands of Shane Dunn. And then Kelly stepped in. Oh, we have a call against the Green Wave. The flag was down. Looked like Shane had the ball, and Kelly just simply stepped in and, and grabbed it. So they call it against the Green Wave. Yeah, that was definitely pass interference. No question about it. He just knocked Shane out of the way and caught the ball. No question about that call. First and 10 with a 15-yard penalty. That's great. The ball down on the 43-yard line, and we have first and 10. So that's a big play again, and we need to capitalize on that. You know, anytime you get a, a break, certainly got to take advantage. We send Russell wide out to the left. We have a slot to the left. Eye formation. Weber again coming to this side. Ball is coming to, to Norton. Norton picks up a hard four or five yards off the right-hand side up to the 38-yard line. Mm -hmm. Just went with, a, went with a Liz, 46 trap, right inside the trap block. John picked up a nice five, six yards in there. So they're going to put it... They've got second and six on the board, but it's a short six, more like second and five and a half. Ball on the 38-yard line, 39-yard line. Takes to Linehauser, and again, just over the outstretched hands of Dunn. Dunn was wide open on the 32-yard line. John going to that side, throwing back across this way, just couldn't deliver a strike. Yeah, that was a great call right there. When that wing right power right Redskin special, he pulled it out, ran a play action pass. He had the short man on a 10 to 15 yard route, plus the uh, wide receiver ran a flag. Both guys open. Matt picked the short guy, just happened to overthrow it. Both yeah. guys are wide open. It was a nice play, and he was definitely right there. So we got third down, third down and six. Russell's over this way, and again, again, hand off to Norton, and he slips on the 46-yard line, and he's down there. So a loss, loss of five or six on that. So it's gonna be fourth down and 12. Fourth down and 12. Green Wave sent everybody that time, and they weren't fooled. We tried that draw play two or three times, and uh, a couple of them, we've got some yardage on it. Green Wave plays pretty good defensive. Kelly back and standing on the 15 yard line ball comes to Kelly he picks it on the 20 18 yard line going around that right hand side again they got a wall picked up and again a nice tackle looked like in there by Linehauser they had a nice screen set up on their right hand side yeah they did a good job setting up that wall over there somebody's got to get break through there and try to make that tackle, but that's great blocking on Newark's part. It sure was. They had it set up for him, definitely. <coughs> kind of makes you grimace when you see Kelly get a hold of the ball on that. They're sending two twins out to this side. Murphy and Fluhardy. They have an eye formation in the backfield. Pitching the ball back again to Kelly. Kelly's coming around the left-hand side. He's got a block. And Linehauser simply overpowered the block and turned and tackled Kelly at the... 46 yard line. That was a nice job by Linehauser. Yeah, he had a tremendous effort right there. Tell you what, Newark is just blowing these guys off the ball. Mike made a tackle, but you know that's after an eight yard gain. These guys need to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Yes, he gets a good he gets a good block right at the line and comes around the side. You know, Linehauser fought it off and and picked him off there with a second and two. Second and two. Ball in the 46 yard line. Again, that misdirection play. Ball goes to 23. To Murphy. And he's down again for a first down. Ball on the 35-yard line. Yeah, that's a nice little counter in there. Just try to keep you honest. Give Kelly a break. And they just did a fantastic job cutting right inside that block. That was to Mike Murphy. Mike is a 5'10", 165-pound senior. He's had a, a touchdown so far this evening. And that little misdirection play, they get the flow coming to the left-hand side or, and send him back across the middle. Graham back again, looking to pass. He's looking, he's got 24 open. Covered there by Weber. 
Yeah, that was good defense right there. The ball was over his head by the time Chad grabbed the hold of him and threw him down. That was just good defense. So, sitting right in front of us are the Green Wave fans, and of course they didn't like that one. They thought we should have had pass interference. So, second down. Second down and 10 after a nice defensive play by Chad Weber. Again, coming out to this side will be Fluharty. You caught that pass the last time. We have a slot to the right again. Graham back again, and he's looking again, and he... He had flu hardy, but he was going to the inside and Graham threw toward the sideline. So a little mis miscommunication. I believe that thrown to the inside, he was open and uh, had nothing but end zone between he and the... So we get a break there. So we're gonna have third down and 10. And again, you know, they're not afraid to put the ball up. Of course, they've got a nice cushion. 19 point cushion here again out to the right hand side comes number 24 which has been Mitchell and we have eye formation Kelly and Randalls and a slot to the right Graham again looking to pass and this time 24 catches the ball which is the Mitchell boy catches the ball at the 12 yard line he simply went down made a hook motion back to the ball jumped in the air and caught the ball and nice tackle and he was able to hang on so the ball is down first and 10 and the ball laying on the 23 yard line yeah they just rolled out had nice protection nice protection on Newark's part just threw the ball for a first down Chad just gave the wide receiver too much room had to jump for the ball he did a nice job trying to cut the guy's legs but he just got to cover the guy a lot tighter than that he yeah try to go for the ball in this situation so Newark did a beautiful job on that. So that's the end of our third quarter with the Newark Catholic Green Wave 28, our Redskins 9, and we have 12 minutes of football to go in this ball game. And we'll be right back. Here at Zanesville, where the score is 28 to 9, with 12 minutes of football left. The Green Wave has the football with first and 10, the ball on the 25 yard line. And the officials have called delay of game against Newark. Going to set them back five ball beyond the 28 yard line where it'll be first and 15 again they send two wide outs to the right the ball goes to the left side that was a nice tackle in there I believe that was shoemaker Kelly picked up a short maybe a yard did a nice job meeting him at the line of scrimmage, which we need to do. So again, out wide to the right, number 24, which has been Mitchell. We have a slot on the left-hand side. Graham back, looking to pass again. A little stutter step, and again, Linehauser crushes through and downs Graham back at the 42-yard line. That looks more like the defense. Yeah, Linehauser. Coach says when he rolls out, Linehauser to go after the quarterback. Mike did a fantastic job. He's looking downfield. Mike just caught him from behind for a huge, huge loss. So it's going to be third and several. Ball laying on the 42-yard line. Looks like 30. Okay, so Graham is back. Of course, he's looking to pass. He's got a man open. And 28, Fluharty catches the ball at the two-yard line, the seven-yard line. Fluharty simply went straight down the field, kind of a slowed-up motion, and with a sudden burst of speed, got behind the defensive man, which was Noten, and catches the ball. Balls are going to be placed on the seven-yard line, where they're going to have first and goal with 10 minutes and 30 seconds 
remaining in this fourth quarter. So first and goal, we have an eye formation. Again, the pitch goes to Kelly. Kelly dives in for it, and he's stopped in midair. Looked like Leinhauser just crushed him there. Yeah, that was Shoemaker. It flipped him up in the air right there. So a nice defensive stance, but he picked up several. So we're down on the three-yard line, second and goal. Second and goal. We're in the eye formation again with a slot to the left. And of course, you all know who the ball is going to. Kelly lining it straight in. We caught him at the line of scrimmage, and he simply dove straight in, carrying two defenders into the end zone. So, nine minutes and 47 seconds, and the green wave has gone up 34 to 9. 34 to 9. And Kelly again on to kick. We'll see whether they'll kick this one or whether they're going to fake again. Kelly missed the first time, first two times that he tried. This time he does kick it. And it is good. It is good. So the score, 35 to 9 with 9 minutes and 47 seconds remaining in this ball game. And the Redskins have a lot of makeup work to do. And we'll be right back. So Graham again is kicking off. It comes to the up back on the 28-yard line. Makes a nice side step. <clears throat> he's got some room, and he's up to the 38-yard line. That was a nice effort on Chad's part there. Broke a lot of tackles, trying to get everything he can. Did a good job. Did a very nice job. Got that ball, and he came back. Looks like he picked up at least eight, nine yards on the return. Chad Weber. So, we're going to take the first snap here. First and 10, ball on the 37-yard line. And again, we have a slot to the left. Ball goes to Leinhauser, who l loses his balance in the backfield, but keeps his head, and he's back to maybe a yard gain. And just want a wing rate power rate. The left linebacker shot through and tripped Mike up in the backfield. He did a tremendous job just getting back the line of scrimmage. So they've marked it second, second down and 10. Second down and 10. Russell out wide to the left in an eye formation. Pitch goes back to Knowlton. Knowlton breaks, breaks one tackle, and he's up to the 42-yard line. So we're going to have third and five. Third and five, ball laying on the 43-yard line, 42-and-a-half-yard line. Nice gutsy run by Noten. Russell will go out wide to the right. Eye formation, slot to the right, fake. And the ball is thrown over the middle and is caught by Shane Dunn at the 49-yard line, but we do have... I have a flag back at the line of scrimmage. See what they call this. Illegal motion called against the Redskins. Yeah, that was a nice play on Matt's fault. Nice fake in there, hit Shane for the first down. Just illegal motion, negated. Nice play. So we're going to have third down and 10. Third down and 10. Seven minutes and 57 seconds remaining. Russell and Knowlton out to either side. Weber and Leinhauser. Eye backfield. Ludwig is going to take a timeout here. He saw something he didn't like. And so he took a timeout. And with a timeout on the field, 
We'll be right back with the last 7 minutes and 45 seconds of this ball game. Third down and 10. Again, same formation. Ludwig's back. He's looking to pass. He's got Noten, but he's thrown behind him. Noten was at the 49-yard 40, line. So we're going to have fourth down. Ball on the 43-yard line. Sorry, 38-yard line. So we're going to have to come up with something here. West is in. We need a big defensive stance here or a, a big turnover. We need to score some points. Ball to Kelly at the 30. 30, and he's around to this side again. <coughs> and he steps out of bounds, possibly on the 45-yard line, 44-yard line. We do have a flag laying back on the 38-yard line, 39-yard line. We do have a clipping call against the green wave. We'll set them back. Ball is going to be put back at the 23-yard line where the green wave will take over first and 10. First and 10, ball laying on the 23-yard line. Seven minutes and 30 seconds remaining in this ball game. Newark breaks huddle. And they've got some new players. Kluckner is in at the quarterback position. And a pitch back to 44. Fleming, as he comes around the right-hand side and he trips up and he picks up maybe a yard or two on the right-hand side. Yeah, that was a nice pursuit that time. Shoemaker was standing right there waiting on him to cut back into him. He just slipped and fell down right, right at Chew's feet. So the ball is going to be on the 24-yard line. As we have new players on both sides of the field. High backfield pitch goes to 44 again and he comes around the left hand side and Fleming's still on his feet and he has first down and a little more. He was tripped up back at the 28 yard line and he came through that and again dove past the 37 yard line. Ball I believe is going to be placed on the 30, 38, 37 yard line on a nice run by Tim Fleming, number 44. Fleming is a 5'9", 155 pound junior. Yeah, that was a fantastic run on his part. A way to break tackles. Can't ask for anything more. It was a nice run. We have twins out to the right. And there was some problems with the handoff. And the ball dropped straight down. See who comes up with it. I guess they've, they've got it back. It's on the 36 yard line. So, second down. A little mix up on the handoff and Kluckman the quarterback the new quarterback number 10 was able to pick it up and drop on it out to this side will come flu hardy and 24 which is ben mitchell the new quarterback is Kluckman. he's a 5'11 sophomore the ball goes to 44 again on the right hand side tim fleming and he again gets a first down. Ball laying on the 46-yard 40, line in Woodsfield territory. If Newark is just isolating our defensive ends, which has been our strong point the last two years, and they would be able to cut back right inside of them or run right outside, and it's just hard to stop down that running game when they're going on the outside like that. They have to be able to stop the outside, and they just haven't got it done tonight. High backfield. Twins, on the left-hand side, ball handed off to, to again Fleming, and Fleming possibly picked up one or two. That was a nice tackle by Jonathan Calder in there, the inside linebacker. Nice stop. 
So there's second and eight. Second and eight. Pretty much a whole new backfield and uh, for both Newark and a defensive backfield for Woodsfield. Ball goes to Fleming again. He comes across the right-hand side and picks up another nice game. Ball going to be on the 38-yard line. Looks like we have third and two, long two, possibly three. Uh, again, number 20 and 23 out to the right-hand side. 20 is the Kimple and 23 Murphy as Fleming again comes to the right-hand side. And he has a first down plus. There's no secret what they're going to do. Give the ball to the big tailback and let him run. Down to the 33-yard line for first down. And he's tackled in there by Stephen Powell. Nice tackle. Just making the tackles way too late tonight. Off the line of scrimmage, Newark just has opened holes up all night from the first play to the end. Again, the eye formation. Kluckner again gives it to... This time thrown out of bounds. The, the runner this time was number 22, which was Rob Calvert, who's a sophomore also, six foot. So four minutes and 14 seconds remaining in this ball game. The Green Wave has a comfortable lead and looking again to convert. Again, they send out to the left. An eye formation in the backfield as Kluckman pitches back to Fleming. Fleming's got some room. And again, met there by several Woodsfield defensive players after a nice gain first down ball to be placed on the eight yard line nine yard line first and goal Newark is just going off tackle and then they just run simple sweeps left and right defensive ends are nowhere to be found they run inside they knock them out they go outside they knock them in defensive ends have got to do a better job in that so again Kelly but he's caught there at the line of scrimmage Caught by number 80, Seidler. Second and goal, ball on the nine yard line. So it was a nice defensive play there, but of course, too little, too late. High formation, ball comes back to Fleming. Fleming and a nice hit. Nice hit on the seven-yard line after a uh, pickup of possibly two. Stopped by number 66, Powell. As he did a tremendous job. Yeah, they're playing it tough in there. They definitely don't want Newark on this scoreboard. These guys are playing real hard out there. Just a matter of things aren't going quite well out there. They're doing a good job. Yeah, it's very difficult. You know, they're used to winning and, and you come in with such high hopes, but Woodsfield has done a fabulous job, no matter what the outcome here. Fleming again, coming to the left. But he's pushed back there. Looks like he's maybe down to the two-yard line. Going to be pushed back short of the short of the goal line. Going to be fourth down. They put the ball on the two-yard line, looks like. As you can hear uh, outside our booth here, of course, Newark wants to push it in. The Woodsfield fans are pretty much numb. We have an eye formation. I think everybody knows pretty much where this ball will go, and it does. Fleming stopped right at the goal line, possibly at the one-yard line. So the nice defensive stance there by the second team defensive crew for Whitsfield Redskins. That's a nice job, a gutsy job. Yeah, that's fantastic. No doubt about it. Great effort by the defense. Fantastic job. 
So with a minute and 58 seconds, Russell will get a chance to see if, if he can move the team up the field. Ball laying on the one yard line. Be first and first and ten. After a short time off, time out, Jay coming in to talk to his quarterback, Russell. Russell keeps the ball and just goes forward for a two or three yard gain up to about the four and a half, five yard line. We'll have second down. A little over a minute left in this ball game. Yeah, they're just trying to get themselves some breathing room, get out from that goal line there. Try to break something right here off tackle maybe. So, second and seven. Second and seven. With a whole new team on the offensive side. Russell again, straight up the middle. And he picked up possibly another two, three yards. So, second, third down and, and three, possibly. Third down and seven. We can't even keep up with the numbers, people in and out of the ball game. Uh, this one is, of course, over. And Woodsfield's had a, a dream season. These Redskins, Dino, have done something that no other Redskin team in the history of the school has been able to do. You know, they had a perfect 10-0 season, which, you know, we've had before. But they uh, they went 11-0, uh, made it to the second game of the playoffs. So they got a lot to be proud of. They've done a beautiful job. Oh, it, it's fantastic, the things they've accomplished. It's just, it's unbelievable. That's all you can say about it. It's fantastic. Everyone will remember this team for a long, long, long time and a lot of memories. And I'm sure the players will remember this game. But yeah, it's a learning it, experience. Yes, it is. You know, and it's really, it's tough to lose any time. But, you know, it's just tougher here because when you lose, you know, you go home. A nice play while we were talking by Jonathan Calder. Uh, he picked up a first down. Chris Lynn. Chris Lynn was the running back. Ball on the 15-yard line. And again, got a man open on the left-hand side. Which is Lynn again. And Lynn's down to the 50-yard line. And Chris did a nice job again, breaking out on that right hand, or the left-hand side and breaking it down the sideline. And the ball in. Well, we're here at uh, John D. Sulzberger Memorial Field in Zanesville, Ohio, and the Whitfield Redskins have just been decisively beaten by Newark Catholic uh, by a score of 35-9, to 9, Dino. Uh, we did have the lead very shortly, and, you know, a lot like in 1983, you know, we made a mistake of letting them have the ball, and, uh, you know, we, we dominated as far as possession time. Uh, we didn't do all that bad offensively, but we gave up the big play, you know, and you just can't give up the big play uh, and win the ball games. And, you know, I, I know it's very, very disappointing for the, the fans uh, and the team. And I'm sure they're going through very hard times right now. You know, you were there, and I'm sure you remember very well what the locker room was like and what the trip home was like and so on. And maybe you can relate some of that uh, for the viewing audience. Yeah, it's just a, a total disappointment for yourself, for your teammates, and for the community. You know, you really build yourself up, and you want to win that game. You want to win a state championship, and they know what it's about. It's just a matter of they played real tough in there. They played real hard. They gave up a couple long plays. At the same time, they were being held and different things. But when you move up, they just don't call as much. You've got to be able to adjust. We played real hard. You know, they've accomplished outstanding feats. This is definitely probably if the best defense Woodsfield has ever had. It's just a matter of they just didn't get the job done tonight. And Newark being a... Uh, veteran club they know what everything's about you know there's no nervousness 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 out there they just stay composed 
and just keep executing one play at a time and they just kept breaking those plays and we just couldn't regroup and get something going but we played real well yeah, I thought we did too you know it's a shame um, you can't take anything away from New York Catholic you know they did a tremendous job they got a nice quarterback you know the grand boy's a big kid uh, he passes the ball well he's very mobile uh, the Kelly boy you know he is a division one player uh, he's being sought by Notre Dame and Michigan and different schools and you know I believe he could play there you know he's a heads-up runner um, he, he runs almost straight up uh, but you know he'll learn those things and when tackles come you know he gets down low and he's a bruising type uh, fullback you know a tailback uh, defensively you know in the first few plays we hit him hard but as the night wore on you know that gets that gets a little hard because you know he is big and we other than the Fort Fry players we probably didn't face anybody quite like him so you know and, and kind of a wrap up the Redskins have nothing to be uh, upset about. You know, they're first in the PVC, first in the OVAC. They were ranked number two in the state uh, behind this fine New York team. So, you know, you Redskins players, you should be very, very proud. You know, this is a history-making event in Woodsfield football. And we're all very, very proud of you. WTAV TV6 is very proud to have brought these games. And uh, we ask, you know, we really appreciate the school and you, you fans and the players for allowing us to do this and helping us. We especially thank the sponsors. You know, without your money, we cannot come out here and put these things on. And we really do thank you. Uh, it takes a tremendous lot of love for the children and the, the young men who play the game and the band, and, and we appreciate that. Uh, we will be back with a wrap-up, um, Jay and Jeff Woodell, and a wrap-up of the season next week. And we certainly enjoyed this. And this is Dale Eddy, along with Dino Robinson, Brian Easterling, and Perry Bronish from Zanesville, Ohio. And we'll see you later.